Hey students, this is Mr. Anderson. Yes, it's after midnight. I should be in bed. But hey, this is about the only time I've got uh, halfway decent internet because everybody else is not using up the, uh, the broadband. So, anyway, uh, someone asked me to draw up 4-7, uh, uh, P4-7 from the textbook. And I believe, I've got this little guy in the way. Let me see here. It's this guy right here. So it's uh, 2.75 across, 2 high, that's 1 inch there. And then it's an inch and a half in there, and it's 1 inch tall that way. So... Let me hide that again and move this out of the way down here and I'm just going to start drawing. So, let me hit line first. Okay. So, I'm going to go 2.75. That's our baseline. Whoa. Let's, let's get in the correct layer. Okay. That'll be much better. Okay. And change that for good now. Okay, so. I'm going to find the center of that. We're going to go up two. Okay, the top part is going to be 1 so we're going to go 0 0.5 that side and for giggles we're going to mirror this side so there's that we're also, see my, my internet is just really slow. We're going to offset that one. Because that's the height of that hole there. We can go ahead and Draw that, and we can mirror that guy too if we want. Okay, enter. And then this is where it gets, uh, I'm not going to say tricky, but I think, what was the, uh, one and a half, okay. So, let's make that small again. So, that's going to be 0.75 to each side. So, 0.75. Then I can go from there to there. And then I can mirror that guy. Right there. Always hit enter. You don't hit escape. Otherwise, what you just mirrored goes bye-bye. And now we can trim. First, I'm going to delete that line. Because it won't. There we go. Now, if we just trim here... We'll use the mirror again. Seems to be working for everything else. Hmm. 
Okay. Now we can get rid of this guy. There's our front view. Okay. Next, since this is the same size, we're going to make our side view by doing this. I'm going to do away with that, do away with that. We're going to change this. Actually, I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to extend this one. Hold on. I should not be working on this one so late. I've been up for quite a while today. Select objects. So I'm going to select, select, and select. And then hit enter. Okay. So now that's done. And then we turn this into da -da -da -da, a hidden line. And then this guy, we'll hit escape. We just connect. Right like that. There's our side view. Now, for our top view. This is where it can get interesting. We're going to make sure we go straight over top. Okay. Stop right about there. Escape. Just going to draw a line right there. We're going to offset 2.75 and enter. Yeah, I'm going to need to move that up some. Next, we're going to trim okay so there's our base I'm going to move this up just a hair and keep it directly above that Next, we're going to do our hidden lines, and we're going to go from here to here, then we're going to copy. To there, there, and there. That way we have our lines there where they need to be. So next we're going to trim. Okay. Next, we're going to do our one inch and draw that right here in the middle. So, choose the correct layer, line. I'm going to go from center to center. Just like that. And then I'm going to offset. That's going to be 0.5. So. Delete. And 
then, you guessed it, trim. This is a case where you select the lines, otherwise you'll be clicking and clicking and clicking. Enter, select the lines. Next, and we'll draw like that. Now we can also mirror. Just come up here, find that line, boom, enter, there's those lines. Next, we have to show this cutout for this. So that's going to be right at the halfway point of these guys. So, there's the halfway point. trimming. There. There. And there. So, next. Please forgive the dings. It's because I've got my email up and I'm sure I'm getting notifications for something. Going to mirror. Enter. I'm going to trim. I thought about taking care of these guys. to the corner if you want to do it that way because there's always more than one way to skin a potato and there we have it go to our title block activate the viewport and it's still too big so now I do have it set at one to one. So we'll grab these guys and we will move straight up. Hand down. And there we go. Now you're saying, hey, you can barely see those are hidden lines. So activate. Type LTS. That's our line type scale. I have no idea why it's 0.25. So let's make it 0.8. And there they are, a lot better. We could go to point or we could go to one if we wanted to, but that's you know, neither here nor there, no big deal. This looks good. You can see that it's a hidden line. You can see that there's a uh, and we put those in to differentiate to show that this is an open area. Okay, so that's why you have that bottom line. And then you've got this line here to show the top of that cut through, that tunnel. Okay, so I hope you learned how to do this. Sorry it took 15 minutes, but uh, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a whole bunch, and thanks for listening. Bye-bye.